Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Those of you that have watched my last video know that I lost my wax. Again, that's the second wax in a row since moving here, which sucks. And I do have some extra Vans wax, but I'm kind of on my last bar and since it's like this really pretty shape of the Vans logo, I really don't want to ruin it. And I promised myself that I would save the last piece of Vans wax. So guess what? We're making some homemade wax this video. And don't worry, it's not like the standard like candle and oil and butter type of recipe. It's gonna be something new type of homemade skate wax recipe that I really want to try out. Also, after I thought of this video idea, I found out on YouTube that there were already these guys that made a video with similar ingredients, but it's a lot fancier. So this will be a lot more simpler and it's gonna be with more easier to obtain ingredients. It's not gonna sound that fancy. But the two main ingredients that we are gonna use is paraffin and just a little bit of candle wax. Kaylin, oh yeah, what? What's paraffin? What? What's paraffin? Oh, glad you asked. Paraffin is a white colorless soft solid wax and it's basically got like a million uses and most waxes are made out of this stuff. It's used for spa stuff, it's used for drawers, it's used for windows, it's used for shovels, a lot of stuff. That's why it's so easy to get. You can find paraffin in a bunch of different categories. It's just gonna be named under a different type of product. For example, the one that I got, it's called Parowax. Look at how much there is. Woo! I forgot to mention, I got that whole box of paraffin for about nine Canadian dollars, and you can get candles for as cheap as one to two dollars, which is what I got mine for. I don't need this much just for one block of wax, but it's great because it means that I don't have to buy any more of this stuff in the future. I can just keep on making my own wax. So it's a nice cheap way to get skate wax. I can tell that this is not pure paraffin because pure paraffin is supposed to be really soft and this is quite hard, pressing pretty hard. So essentially, really easily, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna mix and melt these two together. The paraffin is gonna be the main product because of its super waxiness and softness, and the candle is gonna help it harden just a little bit, give it color. I'm not using crayons because it's gonna lower the quality, plus it smells kinda nice. So we're probably gonna use like a five to two ratio or five to one ratio, but it's pretty late for me right now, so I'm gonna make it tomorrow. See you then. Hey guys, it's tomorrow. I wanted to just quickly expand on the video that I referenced earlier that used similar ingredients. What they used was 100% pure paraffin, but it was in these little pebble things. And they also used honeycomb wax to harden the texture. So we're using candle wax as a substitute and they used food coloring, but we're using the candle wax as color. So it's basically the cheaper homemade version of the recipe. I didn't know at the time, it's just a coincidence. Also, you're probably wondering to yourself, if the main ingredient is paraffin, why don't we just use pure paraffin? That's because I heard that some people have tried using just pure paraffin and it's supposed to be like, way too waxy. And that can be like pretty dangerous, so we're not doing that. <sighs> All right, first step, take out the candle wick, which is usually by this metal tab at the bottom. Just pull it out and boom. And then the next step is that we're gonna cut our proportions. I'm just gonna eye it, so let's go over to the kitchen. All right, cool. I'm just gonna start off using a knife to cut off the big proportions and then we can start shredding it. Shredding isn't really a necessary step, but I found that shredding does help it melt faster and mix better if you just press against scissors like this. Nice. Time to melt the stuff. Also, just to let you guys know, the old-fashioned way of candles and oil or candles and butter, which is how I used to do it, isn't that effective because the oil doesn't really mix in. It kind of just submerges the wax. For the paraffin that I got, it said not to melt under direct heat, so we're gonna use a boiling method.
just a reminder, paraffin is colorless, so any color you put inside will pop out like this. And now we wait. I made an extra mold just in case there's too much wax, but it is a perfect fit. You want to put the cling wrap on there so it, it doesn't stick to whatever you're using for the mold and you can easily pull it out. Quickly added a little four out of aluminum foil so I can get some sort of shape, which is cool. Not the prettiest because I rushed it. I could have smoothed out the cling wrap, but I decided to leave it like that because I think it might come out with a cool little wrinkled pattern when we pull it out. Can't wait to see what it looks like. See you when it cools down. The wax is done. It's been a few hours, but of course you can speed up this process by putting the wax in the fridge. I just let it cool down on the table though because I like to watch it harden and also because it's really easy to check whether it's done by touching the outsides to see whether it's still hot or not. And if you put it in the fridge, it will definitely make the outside cold and you can't really tell whether inside is done or not. So yeah. Cool. Now let's pull it out. Nice, that was easy. That's what the cling wrap is for, and as you can see, I had a little mold there, so I'm gonna be really careful not to get cling wrap accidentally stuck in the wax. Okay, I got most of the cling wrap out. You can kind of see stuff, parts of it. I was really stuck there. And I usually use aluminum foil and I think I'm going to stick with that from now on because cling wrap is just way too sticky. But at least it looks nice from this side. It's alright. It'll probably fall off the more I use it. You can see the little 4 here for my brand Freedom. It kind of looks like a crusty candy apple. I should invest in a silicone mold. Anyways, let's go over to some street spots and try this stuff out because that is probably where wax is needed the most when skating. I know the last time I went street skating, the spots weren't that fun. I found some spots that should be more skatable and hopefully a cooler session in. Let's go. All right, sweet, we're here. If you can't tell, this is also a school, I'm not gonna say which because of privacy reasons, obviously. But I came over here because the ground isn't as rough as the other spots I've been to and also because there's a tiny little stair set over there on that side and they have these things over here which I can use to pretend as flat rails pretty good very big open flat ground space let's get a warm-up in I'll get back to that in a minute. I'm gonna wax a little bit of razor tail I have because I heard that helps with your pop. So yeah, let's try the wax. All right, I've put it in its little Ziploc bag. Just open it up. Big chunk of wax. Whoa, this is okay. This is the first time I've tried this wax formula. It was all theoretical. It's coming off a lot like actual wax. I like that it's red so I can see where I'm waxing. It's like the same texture as the normal wax I use. Very nice. Wax up the sides as well. Very nice. Now let's see how it works. That wasn't the cleanest, but half cab approved. Woo! Yo, that is some good pop. I thank whoever thought of that hat. Why is it so incredibly sunny today? There is no shade here. It's just super bright. <sighs> By the way, if you guys are too lazy to make your own wax, let me know down in the comments if you want me to sell these. I'll sell these for like super cheap. I've got like excess of materials and I can invest in silicone casts. The reason I didn't buy them is because they come in bulk, but it's convenient if you want to buy this off of me. By the way, just a quick demonstration. Look at how easy. It is to apply just yeah nice also why do nollie front shoves seem to be easier than fakie front shoves 
I don't know whether it's just me, but it seems weird. Also, I recently got my heel flips down better, and some girls over there on the other side just asked me to do a heel flip. And I landed it. I'm so sad that I didn't record it, but I'll get another one later. I'm sure I'll be able to do that. But I really want to hit the stair set. So let's do that. Woo! The thing is, the floor texture changes, and um, there's also that wet spot over there. But it should be fine. It's just a two stair. All easy peasy. Let's go. Plastic flat rail time? Yeah, I think so. But after a drink of water. It's really sunny. I'm really thirsty. I need that H2O. Just realized it's gonna be extremely hard to get out of this. Also, there were these ledges on a hill that I wanted to try skate, but spending so much time making the wax, so I don't think we'll make it in time. Let's test out the wax by seeing whether I can no slide the super rough sidewalk here. It's slidable, even though my nose is a little more messed up now. Rocky, but the wax worked. I'm actually surprised. I'm gonna come here to work on board slides often. Now, time for me to land a heel flip for the camera. I'm super excited. To be honest, I've never landed two heel flips in a day. But I feel like I almost got it, so I'm gonna give it a few more tries. Psych! You thought! One hour later. Okay, one more. And this is why I should stop doing heel flips as a last trick, but that was the last trick. Hey guys, it's Caitlin a few days into the future, and we're getting this heel flip on camera. Let's go. I tried. Well, that was the end of the video. The past few videos have been pretty low effort and pretty short. So I put in a lot of effort into this video and I had a lot of fun making it. So if you guys also enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button. It means a lot. I also hope this video helped you, which was like main idea. Psst, by the way guys, don't forget to subscribe so we can hit 1,000. This video also kind of felt a lot like a science experiment. Hypothesis was, could I make a better homemade skate wax recipe? And conclusion is, I think so, yeah. Compared to like the original skate wax recipe that most people use, it's way better. And next video, I will definitely get a heel flip on camera. Super disappointed about that, but we'll get into that. I hope you guys stay safe. Have a great week. Peace.